are concurrently developing two new spin-off series exclusively for Disney Plus. One, The Rangers of the New Republic, and the other featuring fan favorite, Ahsoka Tano. Set within the timeline of The Mandalorian, these interconnected shows, along with the future stories, will excite new audiences, embrace our most passionate fans, and will culminate. Last August at the D23 Expo in Anaheim, we announced the return of Ewan McGregor in the iconic role of Jedi Master Obi-Wan Kenobi for a special event series on Disney+. Obi-Wan Kenobi begins 10 years after the dramatic events of Revenge of the Sith, where he faced his greatest defeat, the downfall and corruption of his best friend and Jedi apprentice, Anakin Skywalker turned evil Sith Lord, Darth Vader. Our fans will be thrilled that Hayden Christensen will be returning in the role of Darth Vader. This will be the rematch of the century. The series is directed by Deborah Chow, coming off the great work she did with us as a director on season one of The Mandalorian. Production will begin in March of next year. Here's an early look at Obi-Wan. The Republic will be reorganized into the First Galactic Empire! That was quite an impressive display. <laughs> ...most notorious scoundrel, and he'll return in a brand new event series for Disney+. Plus. Justin Simeon, creator of the critically acclaimed and hugely popular Dear White People, is developing the story with us now. A massive Star Wars fan himself, Justin has put together a reel to give you a sense of the style, tone, and irresistible swagger of our upcoming series, Lando. Take a look. To develop a special Star Wars adventure for Disney+, Plus, a droid story. This epic journey will introduce us to a new hero guided by our most iconic duo, R2-D2 and C-3PO on a special mission known only to them. What could possibly go wrong? Outside of the Star Wars, Leslie Headland, Emmy-nominated creator of the mind-bending series Russian Doll, is a boldly innovative filmmaker bringing her new Star Wars series to Disney+. The Acolyte is a mystery thriller that will take us into a galaxy of shadowy secrets and emerging dark side powers in the final days of the High Republic era new series we have coming to Disney Plus in 2022 is Andor, a tense, nail-biting spy thriller in the Star Wars universe created by Tony Gilroy. Tony's incredible success with the Born Identity films distinguishes him as one of today's best creators of the modern spy genre. We couldn't be more thrilled to have him at the helm of this new series for Star Wars. Diego Luna will be back in the role of rebel spy Cassian Andor from Rogue One, and he will be joined by a fantastic new cast that includes Stellan Skarsgård, Adria Arjona, Fiona Shaw, Denise Goff, Kyle Soller, and Genevieve O'Reilly as Mon Mothma. We just began production in London two weeks ago. Here's a special look at Andor. Everything I did, 
I did for the rebellion. Rogue One, in many ways, it's a film that connected new audiences with the, the oldest fans. It was a bittersweet feeling, you know, in the premiere, knowing that it was just one film. But then magic happens, right? As you can see, we're getting ready. We're building stages, we're rehearsing, we're training, we're trying costumes, we're doing everything to make sure we do the best show. I'm really excited having the chance to explore Cassian. It's really fun to go on a set that is emulating something you like so much. The enormity of this is like doing a big feature film. It's very cinematic. For me, that's where the excitement is. 12 episodes, 12 scripts, over 200 named cast members, over 6,000 crowd people, a lot of creatures that come in from the creature department. We treat this exactly like we would have, would have filmed. There is no difference in our approach. Every creature and droid that we've been building has the same care, level of attention to detail. It's the previous films. It's huge, it's thrilling, but also it's wonderfully challenging. There's tons of possibilities to explore. It is the building of a revolution. A new Star Wars feature with acclaimed filmmaker Academy Award winner Taika Waititi. Taika's approach to Star Wars will be fresh, unexpected, and unique. His enormous talent and sense of humor will ensure that audiences are in for an unforgettable ride. He's currently hard at work writing this next adventure. And to close today, I couldn't be more excited that our next Star Wars feature film will be directed by Patty Jenkins. Patty, director of the Wonder Woman franchise, will bring her inspired vision to Rogue Squadron. This story will introduce a new generation of starfighter pilots as they earn their wings and risk their lives in a boundary-pushing high-speed thrill ride. The legend of Rogue Squadron has been long beloved by Star Wars fans and will move us into a future era of the galaxy. Rogue Squadron will be released in theaters Christmas of 2023. As you can see, this is a new era for Star Wars and Lucasfilm, with expanded opportunities for continued innovation, high-quality storytelling, and cinematic experiences like never before. And now, I'm pleased to introduce Courtney Monroe, president of National Geographic.